The Broken Dishes Quilt Block is a quick and easy block that's made with only four half square triangle units. Today, I'm going to show you how to make it. Welcome to Eva Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So to make the Broken Dishes Quilt Block, you only need a couple of things. I'm making my block with a background fabric and two different colors, but of course you can do this in a lot of different colorways. For this block, you're gonna need two seven inch squares of background fabric and then one seven inch square of each of your colors. With these pieces, you're gonna make half square triangles. Now I am using the most popular method for making half square triangles, so you can check out the tutorial for how to do that if you want to make your half square triangles with a different method, then you are going to need different fabric pieces and requirements. So choose your method for half square triangles and then use the fabric that you need for whatever method you're using. So once you have your fabric, then go and make half square triangles. So you will have two that are background in color one and two that are background in color two. So once you've made your half square triangles, no matter what method you used, take a second just to double check the size. These should be exactly six and a half inches. The finished size is six inches, so these need to be six and a half. And taking a couple minutes just to trim them if you need to, making sure they're the perfect size, will help everything go together easier and will give you a better finished project. So now, um, this might look familiar because these are the same pieces that you would use in a pinwheel block. And I don't know if Broken Dishes um, started out as somebody trying to do a pinwheel and putting it together wrong. I'm not a quilt historian, but that very well could have been a very early design choice as some people call it. So instead of joining these with all the points going to the middle, we're joining these with the points going to the outside. And I'm laying these out so it's alternating um, blue and green. So we can see I have the two blue triangles pointing to the inside and the two green triangles pointing to the outside. So this is the layout. Now I'm just going to join these squares using a quarter inch seam. So when I've joined these two half square triangles together, I'm going to press the seams underneath the blue fabric, underneath the darker fabric, and I'm going to do that on both sides. And so that way, when I join these two pieces together, it'll be easy to line them up because the seams will nest together. You'll be able to feel with your fingers that they're lined up. So here's the finished block. This block is quick and easy, and it's a great scrap buster. For more quilting, tutorials, patterns, and inspiration, be sure to check out ebitastudio.com.